Welcome back to another Matt Chat Live. So glad to have you all here today. And I've got over here, here, there it is. I've got to go backwards every time. I always forget over oh, here is my friend Brian. And I'm so excited to have you on the show today. Brian, how are you doing? I'm great, Matt. Thanks so much for having me. I was so looking forward to our conversation today. Yeah, me too. I looked on my phone. I was like, oh, I got Brian today. So I'm super <laughs> stoked. And I, I know everybody else will be too that are watching and listening here at Matt Chat Live. So Brian, if you can, um, if you could give a good introduction. First of all, I would just say he's an incredible man. I can't wait to, I don't want to spoil his introduction because I would like him to tell you. Um, but I, I love the guy. I love what he's doing. I think that uh, some great things are happening in his life and I want to be able to share that with everybody here today. So with all that said, Brian, if you could tell everybody a little bit about yourself, what you're doing right now and what your, what your business life is like and those types of things would be fantastic. Absolutely. Again, thanks so much, Matt. And hello to everyone who is listening. Uh, live right now or in replay. Uh, Brian Bashan, who is this character coming to you today? Well, I'm coming to you live from Toronto, Canada. I'm actually uh, American and Canadian citizen. And uh, the life of Brian in a nutshell is the following. I was born and raised in Boston. After university, I actually went to the seminary. I was a Catholic priest for eight years, very joyfully serving in a parish and also as kind of a private secretary for the Cardinal. And then in my free choosing, decided to bring my gifts and who I am into the world in a different way. And I went to New York City, kind of like a movie, uh, moving there and became an executive. Um, I was first an executive with uh, the American Cancer Society, then executive director at NYU Medical. Then Toronto was an opportunity, continued in that, became a partner in executive search. And then about a year and four months ago, I founded my own company called Evolution Evolution, which has three platforms. I work with professional leaders, organizations, and also speaking and leading retreats for leaders to go deeper into who they are, to evolve to their highest level, to make the greatest impact personally and professionally in their respective roles. Man, oh, uh, that's good. And it, Evolution, Evolution is a pretty cool name, too, because when you go to the site, you'll find out there's a lot of things there that, that really, really sp speak on to what that looks like for the evolution side, right? And then, of course, when you get a chance to meet the guy, Brian, right here, the man, mm -hmm. um, it really makes even more sense. So, wow, okay, American, Boston, you say, that's it, I'm going big time, I'm going to New York City, right? You go to New York City, woohoo! I'm in the big leagues now. And like, all right, now I'm going somewhere. And then you went to Toronto, Canada. So uh, that's a pretty amazing transition from Boston, New York to Toronto. Um, and then you you started getting involved even more into the business sector. So what do you think that switch was for you from, from pastoring and being a priest and a, and a leader and overseer of people's lives spiritually, uh, mentally? There's a lot of things that you do as, as that type of a leader. Uh, and then you transition from that to a, a, a different kind of world completely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the abilities that are already part of your life. You know, how did that switch occur? I mean, was it because of the stuff you went to for college and then some stuff that you had prior was in you just like, I got to do this? Or did something else happen that pushed you in that direction? Yeah. You know, I think one of the reasons I named the company Evolution Evolution is because my life has been an evolution. And I think all of us are on a path of evolving. You know, we just don't, you know, sometimes just stay stagnant. We want to keep growing. We want to keep developing. And that's been my path. And so, you know, I had a desire to serve, to serve others. And so, you know, being a priest and having a spiritual aspect to who I am, um, it was a natural fit. And I loved being there, you know, public speaking, um, engaging with people at critical moments, bringing people together, teaching. But there's one important question I've always asked myself throughout my life, and I continue to do so, and I do that with my clients. And it's very simple. What do I desire? When you ask that question, what do I desire? That's where the truth is. That's what's really sometimes trying to emerge in our life to show us personally and professionally where we want to evolve and where we want to go. 
So when I made the decision to want to step away from clergy, that was really based on two things. One, I wanted to truly be deeply authentic to who I was and also wanted to have the freedom to love another person and to live my life in the world and bring my gifts in a different way in a larger level. And I knew only one thing, New York City is where I wanted to go. It's a city that just always resonated. I wasn't intimidated by it. And I packed up, moved there, and I knew, I just knew I was gonna land. And, and I did, and it was an incredible adventure. And I just remember one day being in a taxi and this taxi driver had the windows down and he was blaring that song, you know, New York, New York, you know, if you- Oh it, no, it's the yeah. whole scene. And I just remember being in the back seat. We were both kind of grooving. Like I could tell, you know, he had also immigrated to, you could just tell he, he was new. He literally shared a little bit of his story. He was living the dream. I was living the dream, but I knew that's where I had to be. And I knew that my gifts could also help impact in the business world. And, and I felt that from day one. Mm. That's really awesome. Now, did you have a big point for a lot of people that are wrestling with that kind of a statement in their own lives? Mm -hmm. Did you have clarity on what that meant in a breakdown scenario of just saying, I'm called to help leaders? Okay, that's fantastic. I am too, mm -hmm. but what does that mean? Did you kind of have an overview of what that meant then? Or did that come over time? Was there something you did to develop that thought process? Yeah, so I think it was really a couple of things. I think, you know, for me, ever since I was a child, I was always kind of in a, a leadership role. I was, you know, either elected like president of the class or appointed to do something and always kind of had a leadership role. And then my role as well, whether it was in especially in, when I was clergy, was supporting one of the most senior members. And, and so that sense of leadership was, was always around me and also knew that as a leader myself, but also other leaders, it can be very isolating. And, you know, it's a way to help. I just knew to help support them. And so I didn't know what area of work I was going to land in, actually, when I left uh, the priesthood. I was looking at different areas and philanthropy and fundraising kind of found me. Uh, I remember, you know, just Googling and looking at jobs online. And literally, that's when a job appeared with the American Cancer Society it was to be a director. They needed someone that could cultivate high end relationships. And I remember reading that and intuitively knowing that is my job. Mm. And I applied for it and I got it. And working in New York and being in that place and, and seeing the energy and, the, and working with so many different people, it helped me realize that being truly present to who you are, being fully aligned with knowing who your values are, what you're about, can have a massive impact on how you want to live your business and has even greater results. Yeah. Gosh, that's so good. That's so good. Folks, y'all be taking some notes today because <laughs> it's so important. There's a lot of things that I coach and counsel on um, many times when people are nine to fivers and they want to go off and do their own New York, New York City experience and start to mm -hmm. spread their wings and fly. Uh, there's a lot of things you have to know yourself to be confident in before you get some of those some of those messages clearly. Because there's a lot mm -hmm. of messages that fight for our attention that aren't necessarily true and to know the difference are, is, is so important i don't think you'd be in toronto today um, with the vehicle of the experiences you had through boston new york um without those right so um so important to have and Absolutely. to understand that's crazy Absolutely. awesome so tell us a little Absolutely. bit about evolution evolution up there in, in canada what's that uh what's that is it a building do you have a place up there with employees and staff is it just online? I mean, what's it look like? Yeah, yeah so Evolution Evolution uh, was established on November 11th uh, in 2019. And I launched it on 11 11, uh, a number that kind of meant a lot to me. And it was funny, the website, everything went live at 11 11. And oh, yeah, it was really amazing. And you know, the reason I named the company twice, it's very important, uh, you know, branding and, and that has a lot to do with it because the first evolution is the natural evolution of every single 
human being on this planet, every single person that is listening right now, we have our own unique DNA. It represents how a pandemic has affected every single human being and our work and how we are evolving and changing and growing. But that second evolution is the one that we personally can own and evolve and, and align ourselves to have even greater fulfillment professionally. So that's why I named it Evolution Evolution. So, you know, I never thought that that title would mean even more uh, in 2020 when a pandemic hit and it really was a chance. It really aligned with the mission about going inward. You know, my desire is to help leaders and organizations to go inward, because when you go inward and you align and you look at how you are as a leader, that is how you will have the greatest results outward. It doesn't matter if you're running an asset management company or you're a coach or you're in media or an engineer or a business leader. When you do not go inward and assess where you're at and see where you're spending your energy, your focus, what your strengths are, that is what will hold you back. Because when you do that work and that alignment, that gives the clarity, that gives the energy, it gives the creativity to move forward. So right now, Evolution Evolution is all fully online. Uh, and there's three platforms. If you go to the website, it's going through an evolution right now. So it's changing. It doesn't represent where everything is at. So there's three distinct areas. I love, love, love my work with professional leaders. Uh, right now, I'm able to do a, you know several of that one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, I work with individuals. I'm agnostic, meaning that I don't just have one specific industry. Obviously, not-for-profit healthcare are two primary areas, but I work with uh, financial leaders, individuals leading hospitals, individual pharmaceuticals across the board. And I love working with CEOs in particular who are new. Because when a CEO enters into a new place or someone who's founded a new company, that's where there's tremendous isolation at times. They feel they have to really prove and keep proving who they are. There's a sense of any, sometimes things that get triggered, self-doubt, where they're going, et cetera. And so working with them to help them stay aligned is an incredible gift. And for any other professional leaders at different levels in their career, uh, it's ways to go deeper. So I offer different programs and platforms one-on-one -on -one and some other programs as well to bring other leaders together. The third area is a product I developed called Evolution Recruitment um, because I had a background in recruitment. It's a new way of doing recruitment for organizations, it's a hybrid model with an organization. And the value proposition is it's a cost savings, there's a deeper dive up front, I stay engaged to help coach and guide an organization through the entire process. And Evolution Evolution stays part of the onboarding of the candidates. And that's usually where all the drama starts. When someone begins a role, uh, they're not supported. So it's a way to help the candidates evolve and they begin to work. So those are the major areas. And the other aspect is uh, public speaking and leading out some retreats as well. Uh, for leaders to go deeper, uh, to really find that that inward peace to help them stay fully aligned to their purpose. Sign me up, Brian. That's awesome. I love to have you, Matt. I love it, man. I, yeah, we get along so well, and I think that um, you know one of those things you just talked about with the with the business aspect of evolution, evolution, and uh, speaking to the lives of a business, uh, really for the opportunity to scale, which is what everybody really wants. Mm -hmm. uh, and in that process of, of recruiting and finding a new employee, um, you're, you're walking alongside a company during that process. Mm -hmm. And when they say you're hired and everybody goes back to the gym and goes back to their office and does their thing. And then Sally and Pete over here have the new job. are like, Oh, all right. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. that. Now what I, <laughs> I mean, exactly. not that bad, right. Obviously, but, they have someone to finally walk alongside of uh, to help them in this transition of this new position, new job. Um, and that is something I think is highly needed. I, I know people that have been put in positions for the first time mm -hmm. and 
although they're extremely skilled, talented, and qualified to hold a position like that, doesn't mean they exactly how it has to work. It doesn't mean exactly how you want it to work. So uh, be able to have some of that freedom to experience what that looks like and have somebody you can talk to about it, uh, I think is a, a great great way of success in a business and that person has been hired. So that's really, really awesome. Um, aspect yeah. Of Thank you. Yeah. And I, and I also enjoy kind of the upfront aspect too, whether it's working with a board or an organization, you know, I always find it interesting when an organization or company will say, Oh, we're having such a hard time filling this role. Or every time we have someone come in, they only last for so long. You know, we just don't have the right candidates. And I actually turn it back to say, no, the issue is you. <laughs> the issue is something internally that is not aligned. There is something that we need to spend some time on. And, you know, it's interesting. Some of them get a little bristled, you know, saying, well, it can't be us, but it really is. And once that is kind of looked at in a very open, transparent way, that allows them to attract the candidates that they really desire. And that's my role in being part of that and helping them also you know, obtain that candidates and then bring them onward as well. So it's a real gift. It's a real, real gift. It is a gift because not everybody can do that. And I think, you know, obviously with your calling on life to serve people as a as a, a priest and now in this in this role, it uh, one of the one of the benefits and gifts you have is the ability to uh, to discern and and to listen. Um, which helps you to be able to navigate some of those waters better to provide some of the advice and, and information that people will need. And whether they want to accept it or not is up to them. But, uh, you know, it definitely helps you to do that kind of thing. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of folks out there going to be like, oh, yeah, forget that. We've been doing it this way for so long. It To me, it seems like when you have a business like that, it's like somebody come up to you and say, hey, man, I just met this gal and I love her. I think we're getting married. And I really hope this works because, you know, my last five wives have not been great. There's always been a problem. But every one of them have, have all screwed me. They've all done this bad, blah, blah, blah. Has it ever occurred to you, buddy, that something's wrong with you? You've got six wives now. I mean, it's not like every one of them has a problem. Problem is you, right? So it's good to be able to face some of those realities sometimes. And it is. it's not fun, but it's necessary. It is. And I think, you know, it's funny, too. Like, you know, when I often, you know, will be interviewed, so to speak, from a, a CEO or an executive that wants to hire me. I've had a couple of CEOs being, so what's the difference? You, know, you can almost feel them pointing. What's the difference uh, if I work with you than with one of your competitors or someone else? And I always simply say this. I said, the difference is I'm not going to be afraid to address and go where sometimes where certain things need to have light shown on them. So yes, we'll always start out with looking at what are your professional goals and, and what do you want to achieve out of this? But as you work together, you know, through that process, there may be things that will come up that need to be highlighted and to be addressed. And that is true authentic growth when you can, in a very compassionate and very positive way, say, this is an area that I think we need to look at. How is this resonating for you? And I often will always tell clients, I'm not a therapist in any way, shape, or form, but sometimes the work will feel therapeutic because you know, you're know you going inwards and you're looking at your strengths, you're looking at maybe what's triggering you as you lead a board meeting, or what is it that is just annoying you that you can't communicate well with your senior leadership team? You know, what is it? And it really relates back to the individual. So. That's one of the things I love uh, of the work of those individuals that that aligns and that's something that they want to go on because it's easy to just focus on business outcomes and how to do things. And that's that's important, but it's really going to have impact and lasting results when you combine that and align it with the inward work as well. Yeah, that's that's good stuff. Yeah, it's so true. And being willing to do that is is a big step. And there's a lot of companies out there that are looking for something like that. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, it's a little bit more difficult right now because of you know what we've been experiencing in the world with COVID. I mean, it just is what it is. And we don't have a lot of things that are happening as far as events are concerned or you yeah. know, in-person workshops and that stuff's not as, as prevalent right now, um, which sucks. Cause I mean, I miss the opportunities to be able to do stuff like that. I love people just mm -hmm. like you 
great chance to be with people instead of, you know, looking at a screen all the time. Um, mm -hmm. But there is benefit, even though we're staring at screens a lot more these days, there's mm -hmm. great benefit to who you're staring at and who you're interacting with uh, mm -hmm. when it comes down to your, your business and your team. So, Brian, are you able to do some some team coaching as well with this? That's uh, it's still virtual, but are you able to have like the Brady Bunch thing and have multiple people in the room at the same time and have these conversations? I do, and I really, I really enjoy it. You know, I mean, like yourself, there's nothing more energizing when you're, you know, actually with a group of people in the room. You can read body language. You know, there's this is different energy. But I do do that. I'm actually doing a, something tomorrow, um, and it's going to be about for 15 individuals. And it's actually a method I created called START. And it really came out of my own desperation, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> you know, for anyone that has uh, founded your own company or you're building something, I just, you know, there's always this to do list of always things you have to do, and you're spending time with people and you're, you know, different things. So, Yes, I have a business plan, but I, I also was feeling this sense of just being pulled in different directions and, and overwhelming. So what I started doing is on the 11th of every single month, as usually, I know I picked it on purpose. I said, it's always the anniversary of the, of the founding of the company. And yeah. usually I try and do it at 11 a.m. for an hour. I take a mini one hour little retreat, and it's basically called the start method, which means uh, surrender, uh, Thanksgiving gratitude, attention, really reviewing in the past month where I've been spending my energy, my attention from clients to business development to, you know, websites to everything that I'm really spending my time on. Is it aligning where I need to be about relationships, you know, personal relationships, business relationships, what relationships are giving me what I need, what relationships do I need to go deeper in? And the last is about trust. And it's kind of a, a way that I go back to something in the surrender and bringing that back. And it's a method that is that works. And I've been sharing that with different organizations and leaders. And so tomorrow I'm doing that for, for, entire, for other leaders of their own companies, entrepreneurs, as a way to go deeper into kind of, you know, developing a method every month that's, you know, evaluating. And so it's beautiful. And it's not the same as in person, but it can have the same power, especially if it's interactive, if it's not just slide after slide after slide, which drives me crazy. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, it's a way to make it inward because webinars, people tune out, tune out, you know, who cares in slides yeah. after slides, don't read to me, have yeah. to make it interactive. So yeah, I love doing that. It's a real joy. Oh, it's awesome. So is that something that you could kind of do on a regular basis or is this part of something you're doing with this particular company? No, it's something, you know, what happened was in November, um, I was trying to think of something I wanted to offer really just to be of service pro bono of, you know, for people as they approach the end of the year, which had been a very challenging year for everyone, 2020, yeah. as they were kind of reflecting on their work and planning for 2021. And it was a miserable, it was like the first week of December. It was a miserable rainy day in Toronto. And I was going down the street. I remember I had this hood up, I'm walking down. I went past this billboard or a sign. And it was a group of people that I just saw out of the corner of my eye on this billboard. And it was at that moment it came to me and said, give them an experience. And I was just going to write an article about Start, but I actually did a free session. And, you know, there were like 60 people that showed up for it that, you know, just to learn the highlights. And some people who attended that have asked me to come to their organization to speak at this, to do that. And it's something that is it's really powerful. And it's a way that um, we kind of go through what the different five areas are. And then I actually kind of bring them through a brief experience of that. And then they can take it and mold it for themselves but it works and it keeps grounded, especially now more than ever with so many responsibilities that everyone has. Yeah, what a great opportunity. So uh, I wanna give some information to folks because there's so many things we just discussed. Uh, I know there's a main website for your business. Um, what you just discussed might be a, a different link. I don't know if that was a LinkedIn thing or not, but um, or if it's your, through your website, but either way you can explain it to us. So mm -hmm. 
folks want to get contact with you and uh, talk to you about you know their business leadership stuff, things of that nature, how do they how do they reach you? Absolutely. So the, there's two great ways. Number one, uh, LinkedIn is probably the, the social media platform where I spend the most amount of time. So send me an invite, you know, connect with me on LinkedIn with, and you will hear back from me. I'm very good about that, you know, within 24 hours and we can have a set up a conversation. Also through my website as well. My email is simply Brian with an I, B-R-I-A-N at evolution, evolution.com. And you know, I love connecting. I have really one of my greatest joys in life is connecting with individuals, meeting them where they're at. And I always tell people when I connect on LinkedIn, I said, I'm not here to sell you anything. I really want to have a conversation and learn more about where you're at. So let's connect and let's have a conversation. Yeah, I love that. I mean, I am too. That's why, I, you know, we are so aligned there. And boy, we can talk all day long about some of the messages that come through LinkedIn right now. Oh my lord! But uh, to be authentic about it and like really mean it is another story. And that's yeah. uh, that's really an awesome way to do things. And the website for business again is just evolution evolution .com, right? Exactly. And again, it's in the process of being updated. So uh, you know, feel free to reach out through there or through LinkedIn. No, that's great. And this other uh, thing we just talked about a moment ago, where you're going to have those people on and process mm -hmm. that stuff, is that through an event on LinkedIn, or is that something that people can sign up for on your website? Yeah, so that program is something I offered once through LinkedIn. There's been different organizations that have asked uh, for me to come in to do that. So contact me directly, and then we can take it from there. So that's okay. something that I can share more about and share information. And that's Brian with an I, Brian, at exactly. evolution.com. That's right. I should be your little your little marketing guy and over here. That's Brian with an I at evolution. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Yeah. It does work. It's awesome. Brian, before we go, if there's one thing that you could say to that, excuse me, to that leader or to those people that are str struggling, like from Boston to New York and, mm -hmm. and don't know where their Toronto is yet, right? Places of those nature. What's something that you could share with somebody that they could really bite into and take home with them today? Mm -hmm. You know what I would say if anyone is in that particular moment, it's advice that I was given. And it's advice that I pass on on a regular basis. It's simply the following. Own it. Own wherever you are right now. If you're in a moment of like, oh, you know, I, I feel like I need to just move forward. And I don't even know what that is. But you keep kind of self-doubt or, or different aspects. Or if you're in a moment of like, you know, wow, I need some assistance. I I'm in a leadership role and your and your ego is trying to tell you, oh, you can do this. You don't need any assistance, but at your heart, you kind of need some guidance. Own it. When you own it, you stand in your truth, you embrace what's in your heart, and you're really free to then be open to the most creative solutions and opportunities. So simply own it, recognize it, and just be open to what your next step is. Mm. Don't overcomplicate it. Because no, if you overcomplicate it, we don't go anywhere. Keep it simple. Just yeah, own yeah. it, move forward. Don't want to say keep it simple, stupid, but that's the truth. <laughs> that is the truth. So great to have you here today, Brian. And again, people can go find you at evolution, evolution.com, or you can find them at LinkedIn where, where I live as well. That's kind of my, my home. Um, on the virtual world is LinkedIn, uh, but we're all over the place there too, for sure. But um, would love to connect with you there. And um, Brian has got some incredible things to offer you. He's full of all kinds of information and experiences that can help make a difference in your life, but it won't if you don't reach out to him. So, uh, so do that at evolutionevolution.com. Evolution Thanks again, Brian, for being here at Matt Chat Live today. It was a joy. And thank you for all that you do, Matt. You have a beautiful energy, your enthusiasm, it's, it's really a gift to so many. So thank you. Mm, thank you, Brian. I appreciate that. We'll see you all the next time. Matt Chat Live. Mm -hmm.